Hello everybody, today I'll show you four of the most important churches in the center of Cartago. We'll start with this one on my back, but before we begin our journey, I would like to ask you to please consider to subscribe to my channel for more content if you like uh, what I uh, show you on my stories. So for now, let's go ahead and start and I hope you enjoy. Okay, so this is the first church, the one we'll be starting with, and the name of this one is the Iglesia de Maria Auxiliadora. It's located in uh, also a very busy uh, road here, well in front of a very busy road, but uh, something particular about this one is that uh, it's facing north, and um, it's the only one in Cartago uh, facing this direction. All of the other churches in Cartago and I think in Costa Rica in general are facing east so this one uh, is different from all of them in that respect um, and also it used to be way bigger uh, this is the main building of the church but back um, in the 1800s um, it used to have another uh, building uh, right next to it or as part of it that they uh, actually use it as an orphan home and also it was the first um, office that um, the Cartago soccer uh, team had uh, way back in the day in the beginning of the 1900s um, this one is um, the first church that we have in our list and uh, as you can see is uh, very well um, preserved uh, for the age is very small um, very very small let me see if we can uh, take a, a small glimpse inside but it is located in uh, an area that is very well uh, taken care of with uh, green areas and uh, places for the kids to play and everything here's the inside of it uh, it's very very small but pretty nice and here you have it um, again this is the Maria Auxiliadora Church. Okay, this one here is the Iglesia de los Padres Capuchinos. Um, it is a Franciscan order, uh, the same one that the Pope uh, Francis belongs to. And yeah, it is located here in uh, <clears throat> a very uh, busy road. But um, I wanted to take a few seconds and uh, show it to you guys is the uh, Padres Capuchinos Church and this one here is the uh, Cathedral of Cartago it was built um, I think around 1954 and 1960 um, and uh, well it has seen better days as, <laughs> as is pretty evident here um, but it uh, this church has uh, been undergoing remodelation for the past about uh, 10 years however it looks like they ran out of money or something because it's been like this for quite a while um, however it's very important for the Catholic Church because um, it's been uh, declared a um, cathedral so uh, here it is again in a very um, in a very busy uh, part of Cartago as far as cars go and um, well, this is it. It's the uh, Cathedral of Cartago. And now, saving the best for last, this is the Basilica de Nuestra Señora de Los Angeles. It is the most important and most visited uh, church in Costa Rica. I made a video about the story um, of how this uh, church was built and also um, the story behind it. Um, so I encourage you to look for it and uh, look at it. And um, um, every um, August 1st, um, there is a huge pilgrimage that takes place uh, and uh, bring uh, millions of people all the way uh, from San Jose to this church right here in Cartago, um, all uh, walking. Um, and this is dedicated to um, Our Lady of uh, Los Angeles here, uh, which is um, the Costa Rican patron. And uh, uh, this is why uh, this church is the most important uh, in Costa Rica. And here you have it. This is the end of uh, our small um, um, K 
count of churches in, in Cartago and I hope you liked it. Thank you for watching and as always, please consider to subscribe to my channel and support a friend.